Santa is still hanging on the doorknob, hanging on for dear life. We have had, I think, four snowstorms in the last 10 days or so. One which was a major blizzard. This is looking out my garden door, supposedly, here in the living room. And that's what the world looks like outside. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, the storm that started Monday night and finished sometime early Tuesday morning uh, left 80 centimeters of snow in some parts of the province. I don't know exactly what it left here, but it was something quite comparable to that. And I've got snow falling off the door on the floor now that I have to clean up. I'll take you out here so you can see a little bit better. That is, if you remember last year, I had a a raised bed that's a table-like thing that I bought. I grew a tomato plant and some herbs there. Well, that mountain is now on top of it. The storm has just stopped today. We got an additional, well, 20 centimeters or so, I guess, on top of what we already had. My driveway still hasn't been plowed out. That's where I parked my car up there in that strange-looking contraption. I'm not in any rush to get it piled out because I'm not going anywhere anyway. Well, let's move up to the grow room. Well, after that look out my front door, it's easy to understand why I can enjoy the grow room. This is looking out the window in the grow room at my three coops. The first one there has got the quail in it. The middle one has just got roosters in it. And the other red one over there is my oldest coop that's got... I guess a couple of roosters and all of my hens in. I haven't been out yet today, but I took care of them very late yesterday afternoon, so I know they've got food and water and all that good stuff. Storm seems to be over with, so soon I'm going to have to go out with a shovel. Well, let's have a look around here in the grow room. Well, to start off with, I thought I would show you the uh, hydroponic solutions that I use for for watering in the in the grow room here something that I just discovered accidentally last winter I have these it's a, it's a three bottle three kind of system here and uh, I put 10 cc's of each one in this pail of water and I'm not quite sure probably three gallon pail or something I don't really see markings right there anywhere but this one is called flora bloom this is Flora Grow, and this is Flora Micro. I've already put the Flora Bloom and the Flora Grow in there. doesn't really color the water very much. I use one of these syringes. They came with the system, I guess, originally. It holds 10 cc's each. And I... kitchen that I used to stir it up with. But that's all that I do. And I water with that. Well, after things have started to grow, there's a little bit of nutrient in the starting soil, the seed starter. But when I think that's starting to get pretty well used up, I start using this and I water with that solution. It seems to work really well. I'll show you what I mean here. Well, these are my onions. Uh, I'll zoom back and show you better how the tops of them are looking in just a minute, but I wanted to carry on here with what I'm doing with this uh, hydroponic solution. This tray has 128 cells, I think I'm right in saying that, and each cell has got an onion started in it. And it is sitting in the uh, clear plastic thing that would have been the dome that you'd put over the top of the tray um, to get the seeds to germinate better to hold the humidity in but it also is water tight and holds the, the solution quite nicely. So what I do is I sort of bottom water, I put the water down in there, and hopefully you can see there where the roots are coming out through and going down into the solution. So even though they're in soil, they're sort of growing hydroponically, I guess. Anyway, they seem to be working very well. They just had their second haircut, so they're looking a bit floppy. But uh, one thing that I finally did right, I've thought about it for years and didn't do it. I mentioned in the last video that I now have one of these Mylar emergency blankets hanging behind, and then when I close the front up, there's another one hanging in front. I have discovered that that makes things grow much straighter. 
they used to uh, lean in to the ones on the outside of the tray here would lean in towards the lights and the same way on the ones on the back it seems to have balanced the light quite nicely so that is something that I'm pleased to say is working move on and show you my peppers now what you're seeing in these three pots are seedlings that just came up Kevin Bradley in Ontario very kindly sent me three more kinds of hot peppers to try so I'm going to have fun tasting those this summer I was very surprised at one one of the names. I'd never heard of it before. It's this one. It's called Aleppo. It's named after that poor city in Syria that's been demolished by the Syrian government. Thousands and thousands of people murdered there. Uh, I had never heard of Aleppo before. I'm addicted to gardening programs and to cooking programs. And the strangest thing, just the other day I was watching a cooking program, um, one that comes off of PBS, I think, and the cook was using Aleppo peppers that they had dried, like I dry the espalettes, and ground them into a powder. So I'll have to give that a try, hopefully this fall, if I get enough Aleppos to do that with. These are all of my other peppers, and I won't take you through all of the different varieties. One pepper looks very much like another one at this stage, but these are the ones that I transplanted in that last video, or the last video from the grow room here growing very well. I haven't started pinching them back yet. I'll let them get another section or two higher. But I think you can see there by what I mean about they're growing nice and straight. Uh, and that's because the light is so well balanced with these uh, mylar blankets. So that normally the ones on the outside would be leaning in a lot more than they are there. There's a slight lean, but they're growing nice and straight and tall. So pretty soon I will be clipping them back to, so that they will grow some bushier branches down below. And these are my Tom Thumb peas. I'm very pleased with them. I haven't even tasted any of the shoots. Like I said, I was going to prune some off. Uh, I would say they're six to seven inches tall there now. Seem to be taller in the center here than over on this side for some reason. And they're only supposed to grow eight or nine inches tall. So I'm thinking sometime in the next week or so, I'll probably see the first blossoms. But they have done very well. They seem to really respond well under the lights and probably responding well to the hydroponic fertilizer too. The leaf is sort of mottled, white flecks on it. Interesting little plant. It'll be interesting to get some peas in the house in maybe in February or probably early March. Well that concludes this little look around the, the grow room and thank you very much for watching.